Greetings, Ascending Nation. So I'm coming to you with a quick channel message. So let's go ahead and get into it. Um, I did receive a dream download, and I said I was gonna wait um because I was about to share it on my like a few details on my community tab, but I said I was gonna wait and just go ahead and see like was there any connection and just pull some cards okay so my dream download from what i saw it took place in like an old neighborhood where i used to live okay um as an adult all right um something is highly significant about um and i did recognize quite a few people in this dream download okay um one thing about me how i am in the physical is how I am in the spiritual, okay? Um, but we all know, like, our souls, you know what I'm saying? Spiritually, I am way stronger, and in the physical, I'm continuously elevating to, you know, get there, or whatever. But, anywho, but I do know that I am powerful. But, anywho, so, as basically, the more of the story, astral traveling towards me and trying to cause some sort of illusion will not work. Okay, because I know the truth. So, in this dream, I recognized quite a few pla uh, faces and where I was. Okay, something is highly significant about a setup. Okay, like something just being a total setup. All right, from the beginning. Okay, um, this could be, and always remember, take what resonates, what doesn't, just leave it here. But, um, I've recognized, like I said, several faces. Okay. Um, tele my guys always telepathically, telepathically communicate in my dreams. Okay. So I'm picking up, um, you know, different messages throughout my dreams. Okay. It's, and sometimes it's like me watching sometimes too, like overhead or whatever maybe. But anywho, something is significant about a pregnancy trap. Okay. So something could be, could have been like a setup from the beginning when it involves, like a pregnancy and i'm also picking up an energy where someone is someone was plotting this okay like maybe trying to get trap you with a, another pregnancy okay and this is if you already have kids by and this the individual i saw was an ex okay it was an ex um um and the other acquaintances okay other people okay um but something could be significant like i said about a pregnancy trap and this take what resonates this could be a scenario where a woman was trying to trap a man or vice versa okay a man because you do have men out here who think of, of a baby keeps a feminine too okay or ties to something okay and this could be significant about when it comes to abundance 303 on my clock okay but some sort of um and speaking of 303 which is also talks about magician energy a mason could be significant also but in this dream pregnancy trap came up and also a toothbrush was stolen okay and I, telepathically it has something to do with magic okay um and i'm also seeing that that scene in my mind's eye from wow this shit crazy something could be significant about the movie i know what you did last summer okay um or is it i still know what you did thank you spirit is i still know what you did last summer with brandy and you y'all know if you haven't seen that movie go see it but it's a part in that movie where the black guy i can't remember his name but the older older black guy he they found like where the so-called killer headquarters was on the resort okay and in there when they opened up one of the cabinets it was a toothbrush in there i'm seeing that in my mind's eye 4 10 on the clock all right so yeah that's what i'm saying so something is significant about toothbrush some sort of witchcraft okay um in this dream, someone could have be could have, could could have been trying to like soup. What I was picking up, bear with me, y'all, because I'm trying to give my dream down low and I'm channeling at the same time. But what I was picking up was, um, someone trying to convince you like to stay or, you know, not to move forward. Basically, that's the illusion. Okay, um, something could be significant about a fake proposal. Okay, because telepathically, I got that. Okay, um, 
And it's all surrounds some sort of uh, deception and backstabbing, okay? Gang stalking was also telepathically communicated in this because in the dream state, there were like these bunch of cars that pulled up in the, in the, yard, in the um, parking lot. And, um, and it was like a nighttime setting or whatever. Um, or happened at night. But anywho, one vehicle that stood out to me was like a candy apple red um, SUV. Like a truck. Like a Chevy truck. Okay? And some people did get out of this truck. These people I weren't too familiar with from what I could see. But the energy is something heavy about gang stalking. Alright? So something could be significant about the color red. A candy apple red. Okay? Um, tents are definitely significant. Okay? The heavy black tents. Okay? Um, but yeah, that's what I got from... My dream. That's what I saw in the dream. Okay, so I did pick up um, my cards because I wanted to get more information on this. Okay, Oya is significant. Oya is it's a storm warning and current energy. She did come out in my Beyond the Veil deck. A Pisces and an Aries energy could be significant. Someone could be on the cusp. All right, but something could be significant about a feminine and a masculine energy also. And there is a current storm warning, okay? If it hasn't happened already, 626 on my clock. So, the first card we have here, I did use my Kipper deck. I got some Zodiacs, and I did use my Truth Seller deck. So, we have the main female, okay? So, with this main female energy, Spirit was telling me that this is not your energy collective, okay? Okay? This is the energy of some some feminine that is front and center, okay? She's front and center. She could be um, a drama starter, Spirit is saying, okay? Just a big-ass drama starter. She could also be someone, I'm hearing, someone could be into church here, okay, as well. Like I said, take what resonates, what doesn't leave it be. Um... But yeah, something significant here about this feminine energy. I'm not getting good energy off of this main female card. But we have miserable in their marriage. So whomever this female energy is, she is married. Okay, she is married. She's miserable in her marriage. Okay, Spirit is saying here. Okay, this could be someone who tends to like to pay attention to other people's relationships or be in other people's relationships but someone here is married okay we have rihanna take a bow so like i said previously someone who is like a great pretender okay hence that whole church energy um and i'm not saying all church going people pretend but a great amount of them do um but we have rihanna take a bow and pisces energy as i said i was getting pisces aries that came out in my beyond the veil deck so something is definitely significant here about a pisces energy okay um following or some um this main female card because my guys is directing me to the number on the card too someone could be a like into witchcraft okay here because with the two that talks about high priestess this could be i'm getting high priestess in reverse okay so we have you're the dad not the granddad so whomever this female is she has slept with she either slept with a father or a stepfather okay um someone could, a child could have came from this okay so i will repeat whoever this feminine is she slept with a father or a stepfather and a child came from this, okay, with this you're the dad, not the granddad, all right? So someone is posing as the grandfather when they're actually the father, okay? So we have bullies being bullied by God, okay? So like I said, I was picking up witchcraft, okay? Hence my dream. I knew that whole dream was just, it was a mess, okay? Something could be significant too about an obsessed obsessed male okay also all right but something significant here this feminine is connected to whomever this is okay possibly sleeping or has slept with whomever this other energy is too and i'm not picking up a stepdad or a granddad off of this male figure okay 
So we have wearing a mask. She's jealous of you. So whomever this fem feminine energy is, she is very jealous. Okay. She wears a mask. Hence the take a bow by Rihanna. Okay. Then we have changed a wheel. Whoever she, wh whomever she is, she changed a wheel. Okay. Like I said, someone who plays innocent. But this is like murky. Like my guys gave me that term. <laughs> and which I only thought it was a term to describe, you know, what, like nasty depths of water. But no, murky is another term to describe the, you know, these people and their acts. Okay. So something significant about this feminine change in a wheel. We have stepdaughter, stepfather relationships. So whomever she's married to is having a relationship with a stepdaughter, okay? Something could be significant about someone being her daughter and sleeping with whomever she's married to, okay? So, following that, we have he's the handler, not the significant other pay attention. So, um, this landed right on the Rihanna Take a Bow card. So, whomever this male is, like I said, um, I was picking up a separate male energy, Okay, whomever this separate male energy is, is this individual who's a handler. And this feminine could have had something to do with contracting this male. Okay, we have a mother in denial. This is her. And it landed right on you're the dad, not the granddad. So whomever this feminine is, is trying to keep this covered up. Okay, that there was a baby that came from her sleeping with her father or her stepfather. Okay. So next we have the imprisonment card. All right. The number 29 could be significant. All right. The number 11 could be significant, which talks about justice. The month of November could be significant. The month of February could be significant. The month of September could be significant. So with this energy... Um, something could be significant too about an elder feminine, an older feminine, um, having a, ch a child by their dad or stepdad too. I'm getting, I'm getting a lot of energy here. So we have, she paid for surgery to look like you. All right. So a few people are going to jail here with this imprisonment card here, but whomever this feminine is, a feminine is coming out who pay for surgery to look like you, okay? So my guys are telling me that something could be significant about how she paid for this surgery or was going to pay for this surgery, okay? Following that, we have a tower. Like I said, Oya did present herself from my Beyond the Veil deck. Something is significant about a tower and current energy, all right? Storm warning, incoming. The number 16 could be significant. The number 13 could be significant. The number 22 could be significant. 14 could be significant. 9-11 could be significant, okay? Following that, we have black magic being done in the school systems, okay? So something significant about um these witches and warlocks okay targeting the school systems okay something could be significant about actual witch and warlock teachers i'm getting guidance counselors people who hold prominent positions when it's school board i'm also hearing witches and warlocks on the school board in the school systems okay and i got full body chills when i'm saying that Okay, but something significant about something backfiring here and um, it resulting in imprisonment. Something could be significant about school, you know, S -A -S -H -O -O -T -I -N -G -S being a result of black magic being done in the school systems. Okay, 1345 on my clock. So we have incest. Okay, so this further explains the energy with the stepdaughter, stepfather, all of that that's going on, okay? Um, and then the dad, the granddad actually being the dad, not the granddad, okay? So following that, we have picture or video blackmail. So something could be significant about picture or video blackmail here. Whatever this picture or video blackmail is, it could result in someone going to prison, okay? Following that, we have hidden relationships, the secret we keep, the secrets we keep. Like I said, a lot of daughter and dad, daughter and stepdad energy going on here, y'all. Okay, and, my, and I feel like I'm getting a belt trying to come up confirmation, but in one of my other readings, I picked up a relationship between a brother and a sister. 
okay so following that we have family um behind kidnapping plot all right so this came out in reverse as well okay someone who paid for surgery to look like you could be uh trying to black blackmail somebody with picture or video mail okay um or something like that okay um Something is coming out when it involves this hidden relationship, okay? Tower and current energy, okay? Black magic, um, when it involves a kidnapping plot. Something could be significant about a family um, trying to have a child kidnapped maybe from a school or a school-aged child or some something like that, okay? Also, a tower for a family who was behind a kidnapping plot, something... Um, coming out all right and this is all falling underneath the invest the um, imprisonment card so we have can't take rejection all right so someone here who's into incest you may have rejected them or someone was rejected and they don't like it they can't take rejection and i'm getting is this other male masculine energy that i'm picking up who is an actual hand handler okay in my dream state this same masculine it, um, my, my guys telepathically told me something about a pregnancy trap and also toothbrush, toothbrush and magic. Okay. We then have investigation magic. All right. So more of the energy of these individuals trying to cover up this kidnapping plot. Okay. So following that we have message. All right. So something could be significant about some sort of incoming message. All right. Um, the number seven could be significant here. All right. For me, this resonates a vehicle, a vessel. Um, the chariot is significant, but something incoming. All right. I'm still picking up on Oya's energy. Okay. But we have she's pregnant by her side piece. So I feel like whomever this is that paid for magic to look like you is pregnant by somebody else. Okay. Somebody on the side. All right. Then we have set up by sibling behind your back. And it's landed right beside this tower energy that we got for imprisonment. Okay. Um, something could be significant about a hidden relationship that involves a sibling. Okay. We do have stepdaughter and stepfather relationship. Okay. Then we have 747 energy. For me, this is talks all about transportation. Like I said with the seven, talks about chariot, vessel um vehicle so we have airplane bus jet car transportation energy train um someone could be trying to skip town all right trying to make a run for it and like we have over here we have trying to keep or try to keep something hidden all right so someone trying to skip town basically or trying to run from it um something could be like i said an incoming message i'm getting to um, then we have she's there while you're at work. So some, something significant about a feminine energy um, sleeping around with someone while another is at work or something like that. Okay. Anyway, we have storm warning again. So three times we have storm warning. Okay. It came out in my Beyond the Veil deck in which I'm going to do a separate reading for that. It came out in my deck and I just saw 1816. But it also came out twice in this reading, okay? Then we have they thought the magic would work. So a sibling felt as if the magic was going to work, all right? So something significant about someone doing magic, like I said, I saw it in my dream state, um, and assumed that the magic was going to, you know, do what it was. Yeah, the magic is not magicking. So then we have... Nipsey Hustle Victory Lap. All right. So this did land on the 747 energy. Like I said, seven also talks about spirits for me as well, a vessel as well. Okay. So Nipsey Hustle is present. Okay. So something significant about a victory here. Okay. Following that, we have fake documents. So whomever this feminine is, something about she be there while you at work. Um Something significant about this feminine and fake documents. It also is right along the lines with this changed a will. Okay, so I feel like something is being is coming out. Definitely coming out when it surrounds this. Okay, I'm hearing caught up. Okay, so next we have the community card. All right, so 
the number 39 could be significant here, okay? But something surrounding this community of people, something is significant. The first card that came out was crack, okay? So something is significant about crack here, okay? Following that, and people could be being enlightened when it comes to this community, okay? Um, or whether it's people in the community being enlightened or people being enlightened about this community of people okay something could be significant about imprisonment when it comes this comes to this community of people and i keep seeing the message of concern card in my mind's eye 2017 on my clock judgment in the star okay so then we have debbie all right so whomever this community of people are there there are deadbeats in this community of people okay something significant about a deadbeat or deadbeats in this community of people all right following that we have mother who funds child's addictions so something could be significant about a mother who funds the addictions of a deadbeat okay or deadbeats okay following that and like i said take what resonates what doesn't leave it be so next we have family cover-up so something could involve could involve a deadbeat and a family cover-up or someone trying to keep something covered up okay but this came out in reverse it's not going to be covered up at all family behind kidnapping plots is significant here okay then we have they're mad because you see straight through them okay so something something is significant about a group, a community being upset, a deadbeat being upset, a family being upset because they're transparent, okay, uh, energetically, okay. Then we have new, new, all right. So something could be significant about something new coming in for you collective, okay. You separating yourself from these individuals, this community of toxicity, I'm spirit is saying, okay. Then we have family murdering family. So something could be significant about a deadbeat being involved when it comes to family murdering family. This same family was behind a kidnapping plot and this is something that they were trying so hard to keep covered up, okay? Then we have karmic bloodline. Whomever this, these individuals are, they are karmic. Their bloodline is karmic. Their bloodline is tainted. Okay, following that, we have voodoo doll. All right, so something could be significant about this family using a voodoo doll or having voodoo dolls. Okay, they're into voodoo. Okay, so the signs that are connected to this 22 38 on my clock, we have Aries, the month of April could be significant. Okay, we have Mar um, Aries, the month of March could be significant. We have Taurus, the month of April, could be significant. We have Cancer, the month of July, could be significant. We have Taurus, the month of May, could be significant. We have Scorpio, the month of November, could be significant. We have Libra, the month of September, could be significant. We have Virgo, the month of September, could be significant. We have Cancer, the month of June could be significant. We have Aquarius, the month of February could be significant. We have Scorpio, the month of October could be significant. We have Aquarius, the month of January could be significant. We have Gemini, the month of May could be significant. We have Gemini, the month of June could be significant. And lastly, we have Sagittarius, the month of December could be significant. So these signs could have a lot to do with this energy whether it's your sign or you know someone here okay someone connected to you someone outside of you someone connected to someone you're connected to okay so that's everything i have for this message i hope y'all enjoy make sure you like share comment and subscribe i thank you and i'll talk to you in the next one